Welcome everybody to another Web Newbie tutorial. Uh, this is just an introduction to Dreamweaver. We're just going to go over some basic things in Dreamweaver just to get you familiarized with it. Uh, what we're going to start out here with is obviously I just opened up Dreamweaver. This is the first thing you're going to see when you open up Dreamweaver. And we're going to get to this screen here in a second. Uh, but the first thing you're probably going to want to do is to create your own site. So what that is is just uh, telling Dreamweaver, you know, what like actually right down here this is my web newbie site these are all my files uh, locally on my computer for web newbie I'm gonna create this right here so I can easily have access to all my files uh, and to do that I'm gonna go up to this toolbar up here and go to site and uh, new site obviously and once the next screen pops up this is the advanced section right here uh, for beginners I recommend going to the basic tab right here and we're just gonna go and create a new site and we're gonna call it uh, test, sure why not, and the web address of our new site that we purchased through our uh, uh, domain manager like uh, GoDaddy and all those other, all those other great ones, um, Fat Cow. Anyway, uh, www.test.com. I'm going to click Next, and it's going to ask me do I want to incorporate any kind of server technology such as ASPI, .NET, uh, JSP, or PHP, and uh, I don't want to do that. Beginners, you probably don't know what any of that stuff is anyway, so just go, no, I do not want to incorporate server technology, so go next. And right here, uh, this is where all your files for your website is going to be stored. Uh, right now, mine is creating a folder for me called test and that's where all my test.com files will be stored that I can easily access through uh, Dreamweaver. And I'm going to click Next and I'm going to have it create that, that folder called Test. Now, a remote server, that server is going to be the one that we get through our hosting company that we place all our uh, files onto the web. Uh, for instance, all the files that we're creating on our PC, like our uh, HTML files, our uh, website files that we want everybody to view, all the images that we have on our website that we want people to view, all the text and everything, they're all starting out on your computer. In order to get them onto the internet so people can actually view them, uh, we have a hosting company that we get, and the hosting company, therefore, uh, we're going to upload all our images and all our files to this hosting company that's already on the web, which will then just relay all those images and files onto your web domain, test.com, or whatever you want to call your domain name. Uh, so you create everything locally, and everything remotely is what you've placed on your hosting account that is then uh, placed onto your website, so people all over the world can view it. And right now what it's asking me is, how do I connect to my remote server? The remote server is the server that we're placing all our, all our files onto. And when you go through your hosting company, they'll give you the addresses and everything you're going to need. We're going to make some stuff up here. Uh, usually people want to connect with FTP. Uh, that's the, you know, 90% of people will connect with FTP. And so that's what we're going to do here. The host name of our FTP address of our web server, usually what that is is just FTP dot and then whatever your domain name is, test.com. You don't put the www in there, you put the FTP in front, dot, uh, whatever you want to call it, test.com, and that is your FTP address. What folder do you want these uh, to store your files in? Well, we, we want to store them in the root folder usually, so I'm just going to put a forward slash there. And then we're going to have a login and password that your um, hosting company will provide you with or you will create and uh, you will be placing that in here. I right now don't have one for test.com so I'm just going to leave it blank and if you do have one go ahead and place it in there. I'm going to click next and uh, looks like you want to enable checking in and checking out files to ensure you and your coworkers cannot edit the same file at the same time. Well if you're working on this by yourself you don't really need that. If you are working with other people you know to discuss with them what you want to do. If you want to uh, you know if you want somebody working on your on the same file as you and uploading it at the same time and get it all screwed up, well, you might want to check on that. So I'm going to click no because I'm the only one working on this site. And uh, next, looks like this is all set up now. And I'm going to go ahead and click done. Automatically, Dreamweaver down here on the right has sent me to my test.com uh, uh, folder right here. And I obviously have no files in this folder. But let's say I were to go to webnewbie.com. I already have all these files uh, in my webnewbie.com 
that I've uploaded. These are all local. If you want to see what is uploaded onto your remote server, you can click on this local view tab here and go down to remote view. And that's going to change us over to my server. And everything on here is going to be located onto my server. This is all the stuff that is portraying on my webnewbie.com site. And we'll go back to local view. These are all your local files right here. So we're going to go back to our test site here and we'll find it down. And there's no files here, but we're going to create our very first file. And to create your very first file in Dreamweaver, uh, usually people do an HTML file and create new HTML file, which is right here. You can also create using a CSS template, which you can go right here if you want to create XML or JavaScript. You can do any of these different uh, sets right here. Uh, create from a sample. Uh, you can do the CSS style sheet from a sample. But we're just going to go ahead and do the create HTML file. I'm going to click on that. And right now, Dreamweaver is showing me um, just a blank white screen here. And this is where we're going to input all of our files and pictures and text. So like let's say right now I want to put uh, you, you know, test.com. That right there is our title or whatnot. Uh, we can uh, add a background to this. You know, if you go to my properties panel uh, tutorials or any of my other tutorials, you'll learn how to put background colors and, and everything into this. And uh, just like that. There's black. And let's change it to blue. Um, but for right now, this is just an introduction, so I'm just kind of showing you the ropes here. Up here, you've got your toolbars. Right here, you can use this to get your AP divs to draw out. Uh, you can do the spry menus. You can have text, uh, your header ones, header twos, and uh, paragraphs, bold, italic. Um, just a bunch of different uh, you know, things that you can look through, forms that you can create, your checkboxes, uh, your text areas. Uh, the common one is the Dreamweaver made common section where like named anchors and tables come into play. Uh, inserting images and inserting media, maybe putting a date stamp on your th on your website and hyperlinks is obviously right here. Um, down on the bottom is your properties panel. If you watch my tutorial on properties panel, uh, you can learn about that. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, we're in the design mode right now. And this is what people usually like to design, and you've heard a lot about web design and using code, HTML, and stuff like that. Well, that's the code view right here. See, that background I just placed on there is, is in the body, and it's a background color of this uh, number and letter sequence right here that creates our background color. This test.com that I write, wrote in there is in between the body tags, which means that it's placed on the body of your page. You'll learn about that if you watch if you watch a tutorial on HTML and coding. But right now, this is just a beginner section, so we're not going to go through that. Uh, you can also do a split view mode here, where you can see the coding and your uh, just visual uh, GUI interface, I guess you'd say, uh, right here. And then just back to the design mode. Right here is just the visual. Uh, view of what you're what you're working on. You can go up here and uh, preview your your uh, website in a browser. So I'm going to preview it in Firefox. And it's asking me to want to save it. Well, yeah, sure, I'll save it. And watch when I save this. I'm going to save it under the test folder here. Save it as Untitled One. Uh, right now, uh, actually, my preview showed up on my other screen here. Let me pop it over here. And uh, now you can see my preview online of test.com. I'm going to go and close that down. And uh, but right over here you notice that untitled-1.htm has showed up right over here in your folder. We just created our very first website. It says test.com on it with a blue background. And it's going to show up onto your local files. If I were to upload this onto the test.com server, we can go to our remote view and show it up on the server. And But we're not going to do that right now because we don't have a server. Anyway, that is kind of a brief discussion of what Dreamweaver has, you know, how to get initially started, and go ahead and watch the rest of my tutorials to get a better understanding of everything that's going on around here and learning a lot more. Thanks for watching this webnewbie.com tutorial, and I hope to see you next time.